Hi, Jim. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you, Angela? I'm good. I guess we're supposed to talk about the, the, the webinar and how, how it's going with planning. It's everything, and it's only two days away. How is it going? Are we all set? As you know, the UN Security Council is the most important multilateral forum for peace, international peace and security. But it's a forum that's mainly dominated by, by men. In the last years, the elected member states have become more sensitive to improving and promoting women, peace and security on the council. Elected member states have to be smart about how they deploy their resources to be active and engaged and particularly how to come up with good recommendations for UN Security Council resolutions on women in peace and security. They mustn't just go and give um, sort of generic recommendations. The recommendations have to be relevant and working with civil society and getting information from civil society can strengthen their hand in doing that. Jim has actually also created a list of, civil, like, gotten more engaged with civil society in general to organize this, this meeting. We're this very, very fortunate to have two remarkable people coming to participate in the roundtable discussion webinar. Both of them have briefed the council on their respective conflict situations on South Sudan and also on the, DR, on the Democratic Republic of Congo. And in both cases, the interesting thing is that both conflict settings have had long-standing UN peace support operations there. We are trying very much to kind of make sure that we have this bridge between the Nordic countries and their engagement in the Council and the African countries and their engagement in the Council. Yeah. Yeah. And especially as there's both both the Nordic countries and a lot of African countries have been champions of the women's peace and security agenda. So that's why it's been really important to keep these bridges and build these bridges. Exactly. We particularly think it would be useful for um, policy makers and decision makers in the Nordic countries to attend. Um, Norway is, is an elected member state at the moment on the council. Sweden has been. Denmark is going to be campaigning for a seat on the council. So we think this is an also a really good, uh, an, a, a great opportunity to, for them to also hear about the practice of civil society briefers. I'm sure many of them already know a lot about it, but I think that it would be an op it, these are opportunities for reflection and for hearing some of the perspectives from actual former br briefers on the council. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. And there we are. We walked by the camera. We're still talking. <laughs>